So Coleman sponsored a video and sent us a BT200X, one of their new bikes. It's a fatter frame bike, um, almost like the Monster Moto 212. It's got, I'm guessing, around a one and a half inch frame instead of the around a one inch frame. It's all metric, but I don't know what it measures at. But uh, the Monster Moto looks similar to this. It has front suspension and rigid rear suspension, uh, just like the CT200EX, but it looks a heck of a lot better. Their fenders are better. These are actually fenders we would not replace. Surprise, surprise. Our box got a little rent, uh from, well, first off, Walmart kind of crushed it. <laughs> and another thing is it got rained on last night. Every time we get one of these mini bikes, it never fails. It rains. Hurricane season. The cardboard just falls apart. Oh, and the forks are gray instead yeah. of silver. That, that looks pretty cool. I do like the color of it. I wouldn't change. I don't think the camera shows it good. So you can tell the box kind of on its side, and that's Walmart's fault. I think it fell off the pallet or something. But um, I'm excited to throw this thing together. And of course, we'll do our normal. And I know you guys probably get tired of seeing the, the torque converter installs and the performance, the stage one kit install. The reason we have to do that is because people's going to look up this particular box to uh before they buy it to see what parts are out there and what they can get for it. so that's the reason we do that that's more for the to drive people to our website or to our youtube page so you know they can find our other videos as well so i know sometimes it may get repetitive in these things but uh it's just how we have to do them to continue to grow agree because you know little johnny getting this bike is going to look up everything he can possibly find on this bike like you know how to unbox it which we're not doing unboxing i think those are a little bit most time you're buying these bikes at walmart or something they're normally already put together so you don't have to worry about putting them together oh yeah if you buy a bike put together at walmart and um tractor supply yeah you're going to want to look it over hardcore to make sure that they tighten everything up the way they're supposed to because uh, I've seen some stuff they put together and it's not good. It's kind of dangerous. Cool. This bike does have charging coils. So that means uh, it has a headlight, which is pretty cool. Of course, the red box that Coleman has, the CT200Us, and the U-A's do not have a charging cool. And you can, uh, we'll be showing in a later video how to stop headlights from pulsing with the factory charging setups on any mini bike. Uh, these do it, the Trailmaster, any one of them has that pulsing headlight that's real dim at idle as well. And we'll show you how to fix that without having to install a battery. And I really like these fenders quite a bit. I like it a lot. So we just got out the Coleman and ripped around the yard, and it's it's pretty much the it's same. It's the same engine wise. The frame is a hundred times better. Yeah, I like the. I mean, that's just it, it looks, looks so better. beefy. It is better. The fenders look better. The seat looks a little bit better. Same comfortable. Same, same amount comfort. of comfortability. Yeah. <laughs> as the uh, camo bike, the EX model. Ours did get a little bit of damage uh, from where that box fell over on a couple spots on the frame but who cares if i do powder coat this frame i'm going back same color oh yeah i think the gray looks sick yeah that smoked gray is pretty sweet so, so it's a much more rigid rigid uh frame i that would was a good uh, word that was yeah. the word i was looking for i think this one would be a more a better candidate see we tore apart an ex bike to do full suspension on this one is what i think we should do so basically we can steal the front forks off this to replace the front forks that we stole off the EX. And we have a set of dirt bike front forks as well as some nitro shocks, the nit nitrogen charged shocks. Full suspension. I think that's the goal. Good frame. And then probably a Tillotson on this? Yeah, I think a built Tillotson. And then Lonnie's bike is actually going to get, and we did the, the fenders, of course, which you probably already seen that video. And the number plate. Number plate looks a little big, but I think once gas tank and everything gets on it, it'll kind of change the look of that. But those fenders help out a ton. I mean, the bike looks pretty sweet. Get a good girthy shot. I like it quite a bit. 
one thing I do like about this Coleman bike, another thing is the fenders. The fenders are really sweet looking. That gray just pops on this thing. Oh yeah. I like that a lot. Um, so yeah, the future build process for this is of course doing our standard how to install the Sage 1 kit and the performance gains will do a top speed just like we did on the Trailmaster. But again, I know this is repetitive stuff, but it's stuff that people's gonna look up when they go to buy this bike. They're gonna look up how much the performance parts will help them. Uh, we'll show you how to get rid of that throttle stop, um, which Dremel, just cut that puppy right off. And then, then we'll start the real build. Once we do the torque converter and the stage one kit, do all of our testing with it, we'll do, um, I guess suspension first, we'll do the rear swing arm and the front forks, and then we'll do uh, a built Tilson on it. Built Tilson with the torque converter. Yeah, so it would be, it's gonna be mean. And then Lonnie will have his mean, off-road bike we'll both have full suspension off-road bikes and then we're getting a monster moto 212 that we're making a street bike and lonnie will have him a street bike to go with my trailmaster street bike so it's a pretty cool setup right, stock engine so it's going to be slow i'm at gas 22. just coming down that hill it felt like i was going So as we've seen, the stock engine got us up to a top speed of 18 miles per hour. It accomplishes that top speed in 3.65 seconds. On the hill climb test, the bike maintained a top speed of 17 miles per hour and got us to the top of that hill in 17.45 seconds. That low top speed is a result of the throttle stop screw. So now let's remove that screw and see if we can gain some top speed. On the newer Coleman bikes, they're actually tack welding the throttle stop screw in place, so we're going to have to use a Dremel to cut it off. Throttle stop screw removed, we gained 5 miles per hour, setting our top speed at 23 miles per hour. We achieved our top speed in 4.09 seconds. On the hill climb test, the bike gained 1 mile per hour on the average, and we got to the top of that hill in 17.05 seconds, shaving 0.4 seconds off of our time. Now let's install the Stage 1 kit and see the difference. The Stage 1 kit comes with a muffler, header, jet, air filter, and air filter adapter. First, we need to remove the air box with a 10 millimeter socket.
make sure to turn the fuel off and break loose the 10mm bolt on the bottom of the card to drain the fuel. I'm going to swap out the factory Coleman carb with a Honda GX200 carburetor. On the newer Coleman bikes they have installed a one-way jet that is difficult to remove, but we will be showing you how to remove this jet on an upcoming video. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the factory jet and install the jet provided in the kit. Install the bowl back onto the carb and the carburetor back onto the engine. Make sure when sliding on the carb you hook up the throttle rod and spring back onto the carburetor. Use the provided bolt to install the choke hole bracket onto the air filter adapter and slide the adapter onto the studs. Tighten up the two 10mm nuts that hold the adapter onto the engine. With the air filter adapter installed, we can use the box end of a 5 16 wrench to tighten up that choke hold down bracket. Slide the air filter on and tighten with a flathead screwdriver. Now slide the fuel line back onto the carb and install our new exhaust. Use a 13mm wrench to remove the factory muffler and install the new Go Power Sports header. so probably won't do much for top end but it should climb a lot faster. Stage 1 installed, we kept the same top speed but shaved 0.37 seconds off of our total time. On the hill climb test, we maintained 20 mile per hour, gaining us 2 mile per hour, and shaving our time by an impressive 2.3 seconds. Overall, the Coleman BT200X is a great bike but gets even better when throwing some Go Power Sports performance parts on it. Stay tuned where we'll be removing the governor and adding some 18 pound valve springs to increase that top speed. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts and when making your purchase use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal.
hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode and go check us out on facebook instagram snapchat and pinterest to stay up to date with the channel guys always come back to redbeard's garage i'm out